In this video, I'm going to talk about the four most common VCM muzzler devices. What is VCM? VCM stands for Variable Cylinder Management. It's Honda's cylinder deactivation system where it shuts down a six-cylinder engine from six-cylinder mode down to three-cylinder mode. The purpose of VCM is to give you better gas mileage and less emissions. The downside of VCM is that it can cause a whole lot of issues, such as oil consumption, piston ring damage, foul spark plugs, which will cause you to have a check engine light, vibration due to premature engine mount wear. All of that is expensive to fix. A few years ago, there was a class action lawsuit against Honda and Honda had a settlement where it fixed those vehicles that are affected from VCM damage. And just this month, Honda extended the warranty coverage on certain models of Odyssey and Pilot. These issues can cause the engine to be less reliable. So therefore, some owners install these VCM devices to keep the engine operating in six-cylinder mode all the time. These four VCM muzzlers that I'm going to talk about are not necessarily recommendations. I'm just mentioning them to you so you can do your own research and gather information and decide which one is best for you. These VCM muzzlers are in two groups, active muzzlers and passive muzzlers. The first passive muzzlers I will talk about is VCM Muzzler 2. That is the exact device I installed on my 2014 Honda Odyssey from when the vehicle was new all the way till when I traded it in. That's 10 years and about 137,000 miles. If you have not seen my videos on the VCM Muzzler 2 device, look for them in my playlist. Basically, VCM Muzzler 2 is a plug and play device. Very easy to install and it looks very much like OEM like it belongs under the hood of the Honda. In the beginning, I used to disconnect the VCM muzzler too when I take it back to the dealership for warranty or service, but eventually I forgotten about it and I just kind of left it in. And the Honda technician looked over the vehicle and didn't say anything because it looks very much like it belongs as part of the vehicle part of the engine. Now VCM Muzzler 2 does come with five different resistors. So you're going to have to try to see which resistors work the best for you. You would change the resistor depending your driving conditions or the change of the season. So it can control the VCM or prevents the engine from going into VCM mode probably about 90 to 95% of the time. Now for me, I use the same resistor, the blue resistor, from the beginning till the end when I traded it in. And that has worked well for me. Yes, the VCM still occasionally kicks in during, let's say, bumper to bumper traffic during the bloody hot summers. And um, yes, that will trigger the VCM to kick in. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the VCM kicking in every once in a while. So uh, I don't change the resistor. I just keep the same one for the entire use of my 2014 Honda Odyssey. Next passive device is VCM tuner. Now VCM tuner is also plug and play and it looks very much like the VCM muzzler too. There is a resistor on the device with a dial. 
so you can dial in the resistance of the resistor so you don't have to keep switching them out. If there's a change in the climate or your driving conditions, all you have to do is adjust the dial. Now it is easier to adjust a dial to find that right amount of resistance to control the VCM rather than switching the different resistors. But you decide what your comfort level is under the hood of the car and whether or not you want to just turn a little dial or do you want to change out the resistors. The next type of devices are active muzzler devices. Now what do I mean by active? Active means once you install it, the device will self-adjust to provide enough resistance depending on the situation. So basically, once you install it, you don't have to switch out any resistors or make any kind of adjustments. It should be self-adjust automatically. Active muzzlers are a little bit more expensive. So you'll have to decide if it's worth it to you to install it and forget about it or open the hood once in a while and switch out the resistors or adjust the resistance a little bit. The active resistors are still sort of plug and play, but there is also another wire that you have to connect to the battery. Basically, it draws power for the active resistor to constantly monitor the resistance. The active resistors will not look all that OEM like as part of the car, because you'll see this wire connecting to the battery terminal. If that is of a concern, uh, think about that before you take your vehicle back to the dealership for any service or maintenance work. Will they say anything? Will they ask and question about that? I don't know. You'll have to decide. The two active type of VCM muzzler devices are SVCM tuner and also VCM tuner version 2. I have no experience with the active VCM muzzler devices, so if you got them in your vehicle, please post in the comments your experience, your knowledge gain, so you can share with others that are looking for a muzzler device for their J35 V6 Honda vehicle. Just one note, none of these VCM devices will work on the J35 Y8 V6 engine. That's on the 2023 Honda Pilot tow current and also the 2026 and current Honda Passport. So if you got these two vehicles, VCM devices will not work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.